Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a box opening of heads that have returned from the Face Up Artist. Uh, this, these are the dolls that I sent to Red Iris Atelier um, or Angsty Penguin here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, I have uh, several dolls, two, three, four, I lost track, three or four dolls that she's done for me now. Um, and here are the two dolls that are waiting for their heads. <laughs> um, so my uh, Lavender Ingenue, um, this is her, her alternate head that she's been wearing while her other head's been away. Um, and my Rumpel doll, Abby, um, and her hands and her feet are in here. You know, don't trip on that. Oh. <laughs> Lola's trying to get through this tiny space where the cord and the ring light is. Excuse me, little girl. Okay. Um, so uh, I can't remember when I sent these. Um, it was right before all the quarantine stuff started. It might have been February, but I think it was March when I sent these in. Um, before the proverbial shit hit the fan <laughs> with all the quarantine stuff um <sighs> i i wish we were still in quarantine i've been back at work i don't know how long it's been um i went back the first part of may so it's probably been four weeks or something like that uh and i am working 40 hours a week uh four days a week so it's 10 11 hours uh with in a mask it's an old building with broken air conditioning um, I, I TMI but I'm in early menopause and having hot flashes all the time all the time uh, um, so that's really fun <laughs> uh, here is oh I must I think I wrote that I think I wrote the contents of the box um, I try to do that now, especially when there's a few things going on. Uh, let's see, what's this? I don't know if there's anything in there. I might have put the hands in there to begin with. Because oh, they fit. That's how tiny they are. <laughs> um, and so I work Tuesday to Friday, 7.30 to 6.00. I did get off early today though, so that's the only reason I'm able to make this video. Otherwise, I might not have made it till the weekend. Um, but of course, the beginning of my work week and all of kept me up since like 2 a.m. having diarrhea. Um, and so I have to take care of her and like having a sick toddler or something. Where'd my garbage go? I'll just put it in the box there. Uh, so there is, this is my ingenue, I'm sure, because it's big, and my Abby in here, and I bet you this is the hands. Um, let's open this first and see. I forgot how small these hands were. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Those are beautiful. But um, I knew that I wanted my Abbey to be painted by Red Iris Atelier uh, because uh, she has done all of my Rumpel dolls. So my Rumpel doll Morpheo, uh, my Rumpel doll Abaddon. Um, oh, I do have another Abaddon I forgot that was painted by um, Rumpeldahl himself. Let me turn that off for a second. I don't know if that helps at all. There's snoring bulldogs. I can hear them. And let's see here. I thought this, and I pulled this out, I'm like, oh, that's too small for the hands to fit in there. And I put them in there when I sent them. Um, okay. So Red Iris at Talir, um, 
she is uh, still open for, oh my gosh, she's still open for face-ups. She definitely has a slower turnaround time, which she lets you know that uh, because she has a baby that she takes care of now, so uh, she can't devote all of her time to face-ups like she used to. Um, but she still takes them, just as, as long as you're okay to wait. And um, I definitely was. I just wanted to get these dolls to her. Okay, oh, let me show you. Oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, let me turn. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh. oh my goodness, this is incredible, oh my word. The photos that she took don't even, like, I, I don't think you can see how amazing this is. They, it just doesn't even show. Um, I mean, this tiny, look how small this is. Like, I have... I have a very small <laughs> thumbnail, uh, but very tiny, tiny face. Her face isn't as tiny as um, uh, the pygmies, but it's very small. Oh, and I, much. I love her so much. And you can see her little teeth. It almost looks like she has little tiny fangs, which I love. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. And I, I think that these eyes, I think I stole these eyes from another one of my dolls and gave them to her because, and they're little teeny tiny glass eyes. She's so amazing. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, beautiful. I'm just gonna cry about how beautiful she is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm going to set her over here in her little hands. I had to go steal her eyes back. Oh my gosh. Just show. There she is, all beautifully wrapped up. I might go around and cut. Arwen just came in with her bone to chew on it. She's over there in the corner, chewing on her bone. <laughs> she likes to wedge it against something like the bookshelf or the dresser or the door jam and make as much noise as possible. <laughs> And she got that teal. I wanted that teal color. She got that spot on it. It's so sparkly and beautiful. And the eyebrows. Oh, love her eyebrow work and the text, the face texture. Oh, love it. Let me put her eyes in. They're over here. Oh, 
I'd like to find another pair of these. I stole these back from another doll. Um, they've actually been passed around to a few dolls while she's been gone. But these are Enchanted Doll. They're part of the Marble um, line, which are kind of like these limited special eyes. Um, and these are the 12 millimeters. And we'll see. Uh, 12 millimeter eyes are like standard 12 millimeter eyes are kind of small for ingenue. Um, in my opinion, the most perfect eyes for her are uh, size 14 with small iris or size 16 with small iris, um, depending on the size of the iris. Uh, because these 12s, most 12s tend to gap. Um, in her head. Figured I'd have to redo her neck suading, but it's still there. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's put some heads on. Where's my head pillow? That is. She's wearing uh, an outfit that I made. Um, I really like I I really like these rumple sh uh, rumple shorts <laughs> these ruffle shorts on on her. The short, uh, the short leg body has such a nice booty, um, and it really accentuates them. Um, I I love the short leg girls. They are just so super curvy. Okay. I tried to pull her face off. I uh, I'm used to the mini girls now. <laughs> uh, just taking their face plates off. Um, but I am glad that I, uh, let's see here. Where am I gonna... I am glad that I got both heads. Um, Oh, her foot, or her shoe came off. Oh. Okay. Come back here, shoe. These are Dalmore. Uh, Dalmore. Dalmore heels, and uh, they fit. They fit to uh, Anjanu. Twi and twiggling bodies, the big girl twiggling bodies, pretty good. Um, okay, let's see here. This one needs to be brushed out. It's very tangled. That's very tangled. Oops, sorry. Um, I like little combs like this. 
And I actually have a hard time finding just little cute combs um, that don't have a big long handle. But I like these because they're easy to put in a doll bag. Oh, that wig. This wig is really has some tangles that I need to work out. Oh my goodness. I'd like to try some different wigs on her. Um, very rarely, it's very typical that I just have them make a face up according to aspects and colors that I want and then I'll find a wig that kind of matches it, or that, that I like with it. Um, let's try. Oh, I've got a few different ones here to try. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't seem to be very good at anticipating these things or like, oh, if they have a face up that looks like this, this kind of wig will look better with it. So, um, oh, this does look good. This dark, the darker color does go, does go better. I think previous to her having the face up, I tended to like, um, lighter colors. This is an Am Amadez Studio wig that I commissioned originally. This was Herla's wig and she now has another Amadez Studio wig. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. This is one of their alpaca wigs. beautiful. Um, this is one of their Angora wigs. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know. She might be going to steal this. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I think I need to put a piece of sticky Sticky tack. Let's get a piece of sticky tack. <laughs> There's our one in the backyard barking at somebody. Oh, I miss quarantine. <laughs> I miss it. Especially, like, it's such a contrast working this amount. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, I definitely feel like I am emotionally uh, a lot happier. Uh, I'm working a lot and I'm tired and I'm sick and I've like had a migraine all weekend. But like, I work really hard at work, but I don't leave feeling just de you know demoralized and um, like it really sucks to work that much and be tired and sick and have uh, nobody appreciate it and um, a lot of work drama and stuff. Uh, you know that's not cool. Uh, so I don't have that. Like my work environment is a lot more positive. Like so I can work. I'm able to sustain this better than when it's a really negative draining environment when you're spending extra energy on bull crap instead of doing your dang job. Um, I, I'll, I'll need to cut back to 30 hours though because I, this is just not good for my health. 
Um, I had a migraine all weekend. And I still have it. Uh, <clears throat> She's beautiful, though. Um, I think I'll change her outfit, though, and maybe give this one to to Gamine. I think she needs something a little more dark to bring out her resin color. Oh, I, I want to... I, I didn't want to send her hand, hands in um, because I'm so protective of them because if something happens to them, like, there's no more to be gotten. Um, and so, but I sure would love to have her to have a, a pedicure or a manicure. Pedicure too, yeah, but a manicure. Oh, wow. Okay, this... This doll might be my favorite right now. <laughs> Every time I get a new one back, oh, she's my favorite. Um, but like, I have I have them all here, like the ones that are just like, have been so amazing. Um, where'd my Fang go? I moved her, but Fang was over here. But my, um, my Twiggling Gamine and Oryx and my Twiggling uh, Menangenu, like, I. Uh, I am so happy and excited to have my Twiggling girls getting their face-ups. Like, she just looks real. Like, she looks like a real, live, purple lady. Like, she's purple and totally real. <laughs> that is her color. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, love her so much. Give me. Should I go back into quarantine and just stay here and play with dolls? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, those eyes I think look really beautiful too. Oh, I love her. Love her. I love her so much. Oh, I love my dolls. Ugh. I've been so tired and sick that I just come and sit here and just look at them. Like, I'm so tired, I can't even, like, change their clothes or anything. Um, but I just sit here and sometimes just hold them, and um, they're very, they're very special. Uh... I forgot to bring over her wig. Let's see here. Okay. These are the two wigs. Um, I have this uh, this wig is by Serendipity, Serendipity Dolls, I'm pretty sure, uh, and the, there's Inoki's head back. Uh, this is a, well, the color just never looks right on my screen. It looks a lot more blue, the, but it's a, it's a very much a teal color. Um, uh, so acrylic yarn. And then uh, I also have this one, which is a white uh, soy wig by Frapzilla. Um, but I have two wigs that are incoming from Serendipity. I want to say Serendipity Factory, is that right? Serendipity Dolls. Um, but she makes, uh, she makes wigs that fit Enoki and Pygmies. And the wigs that she makes for Anoki do fit. Oh, I think the pygmy wig fit her too. Um, I'll have to try and see. Uh, but I have two incoming from her, two alpaca wigs. And 
It's a yeah. That's a, that doesn't fit too bad. That doesn't fit too bad. Um, it's a little. It's actually a little big. Actually, uh, Noki's head's got a very big head back. Um, uh, but that. I mean the teal. I also have a purple wig that I might try on her. A purple alpaca wig. Um, but that looks pretty cool. Um, I've got a wig that uh, th those two wigs that are coming in. I'll I want to I'll be interested to try them on her too and see how they look uh, because one of them has like an orange in it and I love orange and teal together. I think that they that's a beautiful combination. This white wig looks pretty on her too. Um, Okay, let's. <laughs> Poor girl, she's been sitting with these <laughs> toothpicks. I, this might be this size doll is probably the only one that won't break a toothpick if you tried to do this. I don't know, maybe some of the MSD dolls you could put a toothpick here to hold the the string. Sure, I put the right and left hand in the right place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to. I always want to sit here and play with dollies and sew for them. And just where did my? There it is. I went out in the hallway to see what Arwen was doing. She was chewing something and she brought a stick in through the dog door. She's got it just chewed just all over the carpet. <laughs> she's a she's a stick girl. She likes the sticks and we had a storm so it blew down a bunch of them. She loves it. Oh, I love Abby is such she's so beautiful. She poses so amazing. I love her joints. Let's uh let's see how she looks here. I want to sew her a new dress. Um Yeah, I want to sew her a new dress that brings out this one isn't bad. Um, I still love this fabric. Uh, I think it would look really cute with a teal stripe and ruffle. Um, let's try some different wigs on just for fun. She's out there barking, 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 bark, bark. I'm using my phone to film, but one of the things they're doing, I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned it in one of the videos or not, is uh, we have, uh, let me get some sticky tacks. We have uh, our sprinkler system hooked up to, we can control it with our phones basically. And so, even turning the sprinkler on when she goes and starts barking her and Toby if they run to the fence and barking and won't stop when we tell them to we turn the sprinkler on them <laughs> and it's so funny because she'll run up on the deck like save me save me 
<laughs> she runs to us because <laughs> the sprinkler came on. Ooh, I actually really like that. I like the... Very pretty. Oh, thank you, Mindy. I, I am so grateful. Like, I am never disappointed with any face up that she does like there you know it's going to be incredible it's always going to be incredible she's so cute so so cute yeah i kind of do like her with this white wig um, it'll be interesting to see when those other wigs come in too. I'm interested to try those on her. Uh, this, this one is a, um, a Fraptozilla wig. I like the little tendrils. Very pretty. Uh, I haven't done much crafting wise, doll wise. I haven't achieved much. Um, I have been doing some crochet um, because I wanted some crochet covers for my Tamagotchi and I wanted them to have animal parts like ears and stuff. So don't laugh. This was my first try <laughs> and I think like the, the ears are unequal, <laughs> which I regret now. I'm like, how come I didn't notice that, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I made that mistake. And uh, and I really like the case, so it annoys me that I didn't notice that the ears were different colors and I went ahead and stitched it on. Now it's part of it, um, so I can't undo it. Uh, that's a pain. Um, Let's see, this was, the, this was the second one that I made, and I like this one a lot better. Um, it turned out a lot more like I wanted, and I was trying to go for a more triangular um, ear shape. Uh, so it's like, I, it's a kitty cat. All of my Tamagotchi are sleeping or at school <laughs> or at their parents or daycare. Um, yeah, they're all away. And then this one, uh, I was trying to make um, horse ears to make a unicorn. And like, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Like, does it look like a, a unicorn? Um, or look like a horse? Um, I want to uh, add some hair. Um, and I'm just not sure how I want to do that if I want to just, if I just want to crochet in actual strands of yarn or if I want to crochet curls. I think I want to do some small curls. I'll have to experiment because I don't want them to be very big and I've never done that before. I've never done any of this. Um, so this last weekend, uh, I watched videos on Anangarumi, is that how you say it? Um, and taught myself how to make some these uh, parts to go on here uh, but the crochet is nice because uh, I can actually do it laying down and I lay it was laying down in bed a lot this weekend so crochet I've discovered as long as I if I leave the light on so I have good light um, if I have good light then I can do it while I'm laying down in bed <laughs> so I, I am happy with that I just need to um, and <laughs> I, yesterday, I went even smaller, and I think this turned out really nice. Um, so you can see, and it's actually got a little um, spot at the top so that the uh, lanyard or the chain can stick out. Um, this other one turned out too big, um, so I'm going to try again. It turned out, if I, I went just one layer too many, like I, I went one round too many, if I would have stopped it 
before that, then it would have been okay. I, I haven't finished these, um, tied these in. Um, but otherwise, see, it's just too big. Um, but it has a little spot for the chain to come through. These were the little, uh, the little Tamagotchi, little resin props that Amika Miniatures made. I made a video box opening of the ones I got in from her. Um, Wow, this video is like 35 minutes. How did it get that long? Uh, okay, I'm going to wrap it up so that I can get this. I have any hope of getting this uploaded. It'll probably go up tomorrow morning because I'm sure if I try to upload it now, it will say that I can't. I always have to wait till after midnight. I, I don't understand what the problem is, but um, I hope you all are doing well. We're phase two now officially for my county. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I hope I do kind of, I want things to, uh, my patients, my clients are not able to get in for the care they need. Um, uh, one of my uh, cats, senior cats that I've been managing, she can't get through to even make an appointment because we're having to use the phone lines to talk to people while they're in their car because we're doing, they can't come in the building and um, and so they can't even get through it. Like it's just a busy signal and we have four lines. So, um, we could add another one, but then there wouldn't be enough receptionists to answer them anyway. So, uh, it's just really busy. Um, and I really want to try to get all the patients that we weren't able to take care of for that six weeks. So, uh, but I, I can only do this for a month or two. It's just too much. Um, well, I'll wrap this up. Thank you so much again, Mindy, for my beautiful girls. These two, they're so gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>